Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you where and how I edit my videos. And of course, this isn't the only way, but it works perfectly for me, so it may help you. And I follow this process for all my videos. So I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. I'm going to give basic idea of how the software works. And I have five main tips for you today. That is organizing, cutting, color grading, adding audio and transition. So let's begin. First, I'm going to create a new project, name it and click OK. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to import my video clips. I, I go to File, Import. and then I select my clips and click open I have my files imported now I'm going to organize my timeline for this we uh, double click on the clip we want to add first on the timeline so this opens up my clip on the upper left box I simply drag the clip onto the timeline similarly I double click on the next clip for this one, I don't need the full clip and I want a part of it. So I point my cursor from where I want my clip to start and I click I on the keyboard. And then I go to the end of the clip and click O. So this cuts my clip and then I drag it to my timeline. I drag on the next clip. For, for this clip, I drag it to the timeline and then cut the unwanted part with the razor tool and delete uh, the extra part. So now I have my timeline sequence ready. To add video transitions, I go to effects then video transition and choose a particular effect and drag it onto the clip in the timeline. Similarly, I add transition to the next clip. I can tone up and tone down my videos by changing the exposure contrast saturation which is available on the right side panel. I now add dip in black effect from video transition to starting and ending clip of the sequence. Now I'm adding text onto the last clip with the text box and then then placing it correctly in the order and deleting the extra part. Don't forget to sa save your project in between to prevent data loss. After this, I choose an audio file. Then import it and then drag it onto the timeline and cut the extra part. Now most important, I again go on to effects audio transition, crossfade and drag exponential fade onto starting and ending of the audio clip. And lastly, I export my video. So for export settings, I keep the format as H264. 
going on to video settings i keep bitrate from uh, 40 to 50 mbps and for audio this is fine then we click the export option and it's done So here what it looks like. So that's it for today's video hope you guys find it helpful and if you did make sure you subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye